All of the Tottenham Hotspur team news ahead of Sunday's North London derby. Nuno Espirito Santo on the special game at the Emirates Stadium. The club to apply for licensed standing areas at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Details for the Anthony Joshua v Alexander Uzik fight on Saturday evening. And Spurs are now being linked with Barcelona star Philip Coutinho. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. In today's video, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. And if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Let's start the video by talking about this weekend's fixtures. And there are a couple of huge games in the Premier League. Seven games on Saturday, two on Sunday and one on Monday evening. Saturday's fixtures are as follows. Chelsea will play Manchester City. Manchester United will play Aston Villa. They both kick off at 12.30. And then the three o'clock kickoffs are Everton v Norwich, Leeds v West Ham. Leicester will play Burnley and Watford will play Newcastle. The late kickoff on Saturday is Brentford against Liverpool, 5.30pm kickoff. On Sunday, two games will take place. Southampton will take on Wolves, 2pm. And then, of course, it is our one, the big one. The North London derby at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal will take on Spurs, 4.30pm kickoff. Uh, Monday night, Crystal Palace will take on Brighton. Please do look out for the match preview video, Arsenal v Spurs. That will be out in the next 24 hours. Now, my score prediction for the North London derby, I'm actually going to go for a 1-1 draw. Harry Kane hasn't got a Premier League goal for Spurs so far this season. I think it is just a given that Harry Kane loves to score against Arsenal, and I think he will on Sunday. Uh, given the fact that we have lost our last two Premier League games 3-0, um, to Crystal Palace and Chelsea. And uh, Arsenal have won their last two uh, games in the Premier League 1-0. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Please do let me know your score predictions in the comments section below. And obviously, hoping and praying that Tottenham do get the three points. But realistically, uh, I think it will be a 1-1 draw. Now, Nuno Espirito Santo has been talking in his press conference all about the North London derby. And he said it's not just another game. It is a special game, a special game for us, a special game for the fans. It's going to be a tough match, but no doubt it's a different game. I've had many, many situations in derbies, but this is a new one, a tough one, a good one, a special one for our fans. And if it's special for our fans, it's special for us. Now for the Tottenham Hotspur team news ahead of the Arsenal game at the Emirates Stadium on Sunday. Uh, Brazilian star Lucas Moura is now back in the frame for the game at the Emirates. Uh, he picked up a knock in last Thursday's Europa Conference League draw at Wren and then missed the home defeat to Chelsea and Wednesday's win at Wolves in the Carabao Cup. But Tottenham Hotspur boss Nuno Espirito Santo has confirmed that the attacker has returned to training ahead of our clash with Arsenal. Nuno said it's important to have all of the options that we have. Uh, it gives you so many solutions that we need, and it's good to have Lucas back. And also, Steven Bergwijn and uh, Ryan Sessegnon do remain sidelined, so they will not feature in the North London derby. Now, my thoughts on this. Great news that Lucas Moura will be back uh, for the Arsenal game in the North London derby on Sunday. As Nuno said there... Um, you know, it just gives us another option. Um, I think it's very difficult at the moment to try and pick Nuno Espirito Santo starting 11. Uh, what will he go with? Please do let me know uh, your, uh, you know, predicted lineup in the comments section below. Um, will he start? I'm not so sure. Um, but when you look at the last couple of substitutes benches um, against Crystal Palace and against Chelsea, we have been very weak in the attacking areas. So uh, with Lucas Moura coming back, it just gives us another option. Exactly what Nuno just said. Now, of course, on Wednesday evening, Tottenham Hotspur drew 2-2 at Wolves in the Carabao Cup third round. And then, of course, we won 3-2 on penalties. We will now play the fourth round against Burnley away. Uh, the Carabao Cup fourth round draw in full is as follows. Chelsea will play Southampton. Arsenal will play Leeds United. Stoke will play Brentford. West Ham United will take on the holders at Manchester City. Leicester against Brighton. 
Uh, Queen's Park Rangers against Sunderland and Preston will play Liverpool. Now, the fourth round ties will take place during the week commencing the 25th of October. An official club statement was released in the last 24 hours and it states that the club is delighted to accept an invite from the Sports Ground Safety Authority to apply for a licensed standing area at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium as part of an early adopter programme. The Tottenham Hotspur Stadium opened with areas future-proofed for safe standing in its south stand and away supporter section. Tottenham Hotspur chairman Daniel Levy said the club has led on lobbying the government for safe standing at the stadium and is delighted that this will now be possible. It delivers choice for fans attending the game, whether home or away supporters, and the vast majority of our fans are in favour of this scheme. We are extremely proud of our safe seating design, which ensures both comfort and safety, whether standing or seated, while maintaining the same aesthetics as in other areas of the stadium. Now, my thoughts on this, I think this is great news. Tottenham Hotspur have now applied for an official licence uh, so fans can stand in the south stand and, of course, in the away section. Everybody in the away section stands anyway. Um, I think everybody, uh, you know, no matter what ground you go to, all of the people in the away section, they all stand. I'm very used to standing at every single away game that I go to in the Tottenham Hotspur away end. Um, I used to have my season ticket in the uh, the south stand at White Hart Lane and every fan used to want to stand there. Um, and, uh, you know, this is just the safest way of doing it. It is the official way of doing it now. And uh, I think everybody in the south stand at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium will be absolutely delighted because the amount of times I've seen videos on social media of, uh, of stewards saying, sit down, sit down, and the fans want to stand up. Um, of course, it is the singing end. It is the loudest part of the stadium, the South Stand. Everybody wants to stand up. So I think a lot of Tottenham Hotspur fans will be very, very happy with this news. And just to add a little bit more information on this, uh, the club have until the 6th of October to submit an application uh, to the SGSA to become an early adopter. If approved, Tottenham will be able to offer licence uh, standing areas from the 1st of January 2022. So watch this space. On Saturday evening, British boxer Anthony Joshua will face Alexander Uzik uh, in a huge heavyweight title clash at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Here is a sneak preview of what the stadium looks like. I tell you what, it looks absolutely incredible. I cannot wait. I'm going down there Saturday evening and uh, it should be one hell of a night. Just to give you some ideas on timing, the main event ring walks will be earlier than normal and are set for around 10 past 10. And the fight between Joshua and Uzik is uh, meant to start at around 10.30pm, although timings could change depending on the undercard. The clash will be for Anthony Joshua's WBA Super, IBF, WBO and IBO heavyweight titles. And the fight will be shown on Sky Sports box office. Their pay-per-view coverage will start from 6pm and will cost £24.95. Now, still on the subject of the Anthony Joshua and Alexander Uzik fight at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, well, Spurs boss Nuno Espirito Santo has confirmed that he is allowing the players to watch it even late at night on Saturday, uh, when normally they would be in bed nice and early for the game on Sunday. Uh, Nuno Espirito Santo said, the players can watch the fight if they want. I will watch it if I can. It's a special moment for us. I think the first time our stadium will have seen an attendance of 66,000 people. That is huge. A report has been published by the Daily Mail and they are stating that Spurs and Arsenal open to signing Philip Coutinho on loan in January as Barcelona continue push to shift a £145 million flop off their wage bill. Reports in Spain are stating that Arsenal and Spurs are interested in rescuing Philip Coutinho from his Barcelona misery by bringing him back to the Premier League. Financially stricken Barcelona are desperate to shift high earner Coutinho from their books with the La Liga giants repeatedly rumoured to be ready to pay half of his £200,000 a week wages as part of the deal with potential suitors. The playmaker has featured in just 82 minutes of the La Liga season following his return from injury and the North London arch rivals remain open to a potential move in the January transfer window. 
Now, my thoughts on this, uh, Philip Coutinho's name has cropped up a number of times in the last couple of transfer windows uh, for a potential move to Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Um, personally, I cannot see it happening. Um, however, you know, he, he needs a move and uh, I think he would fit in very well at Tottenham. And I've said this before, if Tottenham Hotspur can get a deal done, you know, particularly... At the moment, we are struggling for attacking options. You know, when the likes of Harry Kane, Hunmin Son, Steven Bergwijn, Lucas Moura, if they all get injured at the same time, we are going to be absolutely stuffed. And we know that Philip Coutinho, one, can score goals, and number two, he can create a lot of chances. So would he fit in well to Tottenham? Yes, I think he would. And uh, is he Premier League proven? Absolutely. Um, he could certainly do a job. So if Tottenham get the deal done in January, when we have him from January until May, I would welcome him with open arms because I think he's a fantastic player. As we all know, it is the big one, the North London Derby on Sunday. Now, the under-18s, the under-23s and the Tottenham Hotspur women will also be in action in the next couple of days. The under-18s will face West Ham United on Saturday at Hotspur Way in the under-18 Premier League, 11am kickoff. The Tottenham Hotspur women will be in action on Sunday at the Hive in the WSL against Reading, 2pm kickoff. And the Tottenham Hotspur under-23s will be in action at Stevenage on Monday evening, 7 p.m. kickoff against Derby County in Premier League Two. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. Don't forget to put your score prediction in the comment section below as well for the North London Derby on Sunday. Arsenal v Spurs, 4.30, the Emirates Stadium. Let's hope that we are all smiling come Sunday evening. Anyway, enjoy your weekend. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, come on you Spurs.